want to cover it. And I'm about to show you what I think is the most romantic way to wake up. And no, it has nothing to do with the sea or the wind or the lack of sun. It's not really romantic. What really romantic is, look at that. A white Lada. I mean, if I would have been a girl and that's a prince on a white Lada, not a white horse. I mean, that's only fairy tales. It's even better than fairy tale. I don't know. Let's go downstairs and check it out. Hello, comrades. And wait. In today's review, I cannot wear the woohoo cap. It has to be my Boris hat. Yes. Come on. Yeah. And the reason for this is the car that is probably one of the most exciting cars for me of 2016 and actually ever that I made a review. And actually even before I became Boosted Boros back in 2013 when I first met this car, I was like, damn, this is my dream ride. And in fact, this car is so impressive and not only so impressive but also so powerful. Look at this. I shit you not. We just made a burnout and it just destroyed the whole stove. It is the one and only Lada 2104. And usually I make like top five, all the funny features but this, I cannot make any fun of it because it's so damn serious and it's so damn makes me speechless. So I would just show you a lot of things what makes this car probably one of my favorite cars of all time. So first of all, of course, outside it is, like we say in Russia, a Taz or Sarai, which is yeah, probably one of the most amazing body types ever created. And in fact, of this particular type of Lada. Now, Inside, you'll be already surprised to find some things. For example, this amazing roll cage and those things. I mean, this is pretty much JDM, isn't it? And here, Nismo and Comrade Lenin watching over you. And also here, Nismo gear shift. Would that suggest that there is a swap? Maybe. And would this suggest? That it shows you when you should be going to a bar? Maybe. It's a Russian car. It's a Lada after all. I think the sound suggests as well that there is something different about this Lada. Let's have a look. And you know what also really different about this Lada? It has air conditioning. And electrical power windows and also power steering. There is something wrong with it, but it makes it only better. Although, no, it does really make it better. There is still one thing about it that it's a real Lada. Because you know, all those reverse Soviet Russia jokes, we do everything backwards. So to open up the hood, we do it from the back seat. Are you ready for this? Yep. So that is, this is uh, SR20, or how we Russians say Sir, and Sir is uh, cheese in Russian. Engine from Nissan Silvia S13, or 14. And you can probably already tell by the looks of this engine that it's far from being stuck. And you're right, I mean, how else can a stock Silvia engine SR20 make those crazy lines? I mean, even the craziest drag races in the world are jealous of this. But it has 420 wheel horsepower. And to reach this amount of horsepower, it has, first of all, the amazing Garrett 2871 turbine, also Temai camshaft, and a lot of other important upgrades. And apart from having the engine from a Sylvia, everything else is also from Sylvia, like the drivetrain, the rear chassis, or well, the underbody. But probably one of the most impressive and important part is because the car is still practical. It has 420 horsepower, and the weight is 1180 kilos to be precise without the driver but with all the full interior so and as you can see there is a lot to it there's also like a fabricated roll cage and it's kind of subtle it's still more or less daily car it is a daily car by this amazing comrade who built it and it took him two years to build it and it did everything by himself and the results are freaking amazing 4.2 seconds 0 to 100 kilometers or 0 to 62 miles per hour if you like to measure the miles and it's a real porsche killer It will be 
be most certainly impossible to repeat this amazing drag racing and supercar killing sequence because obviously a lot of supercar owners don't want to get beaten by a ladder but this is the hard reality so you know what just let's go for a ride but first of all let me hear you the amazing exhaust note of the three inch complete exhaust system that including the downpipe and the exhaust that Comrade made by himself comrades and in today's review it's mandatory to wear my boosted Boris hat although the sticker kind of falls off but that's not the point the point is no I wanted to just take it okay no let's do it again ah все? it's already done 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 it's already done